So metals. Now typically metals have the following you know, physical properties. You know, we all understand what a metal is. We've seen it. We can kind of picture it. But if you were to try and describe it to someone who's never heard of a metal before, I'd probably use these kind of criteria. So a metal is usually quite dense. Okay, they have quite high density. So if I had a, you know, a centimeter cubed of lead, it would weigh quite a lot compared to a centimeter cubed worth of air. So you can see metals are very dense compared to gas. Often, they're good conductors of heat and electricity. If you wanted to, say, show someone who's never seen a metal before, you'd say, you know, it can conduct heat very well. Let's assume they know what heat is. So you could put your piece of metal in the fridge and then an hour later, bring it out and they could touch it and they could feel how cold it was because it's such a good conductor of heat. So that can be one way to describe them. Often they're malleable or ductile, so we can bend them and turn them into different shapes. Or we can draw it out into a wire, which is what we do when we want to build wires for electrical purposes. And this is probably the one that you'd start off with if you were to describe them. They're shiny, they're lustrous. You can actually, when you hold a piece of metal, it's usually shiny, it's quite nice looking. And that's probably how I would describe it first to someone that's never seen a metal before. I'd say, you know, it's a shiny block of substance and it has all these other properties as well. They have relatively high melting and boiling points, so it's hard to, to melt them. Um, it's also hard to boil them equally. Okay. So graphite is an electrically conductive substance, yet we tend to expend energy to make pure copper for our electrical wiring. Why is this so? Okay. So graphite is good at conducting electricity and it has a lot of uses as an electrical conductor. Okay. But we spend a lot of time, money and energy getting copper out of the ground. So why do we want to do this if we've got this, you know, lots of carbon around, we can use lots of carbon for things. So why don't we just make wires out of carbon? So the reason is because copper is metal and is very ductile. This means that it can be drawn into wires easily. So ductility means how it measures how easy it is to stretch into a wire. So ad additionally, the metal is malleable, which means it's not likely to fracture or snap under stress. If we had maybe a carbon wire, if a bird sat on it, maybe that's too much weight and it will snap. Graphite does not possess these properties and thus can't be used for electrical wiring, despite its good electrical conductivity. So because it's so good at conducting electricity doesn't mean it's good in all applications where electrical conductivity is required. This is sort of the work of a material scientist is to determine, well, what goes where and what is the best material to use for a particular application. Okay, 